Good afternoon. Um, I'm Marina Rosen. I was talking this morning about ship weight. Um, we have one other tool in our company, and that's Express Marine. And uh, this morning I was talking about how to go from ship constructor to ship weight, and this afternoon I will talk a little bit about how to go from Express Marine to ship constructor. Now, Stefan did a good job this morning also showing you what Express Marine is. Uh, and also, he did a man, more manual way of putting the results into Ship Constructor. And I'm going to show you what we're working on uh, to automate this. So, Express Marine, again, it's a Rhino plugin. And what does it do? Compared to Ship Constructor, it doesn't do a whole lot. Basically, um, uh, it, it does very little compared to ship constructor. But what it does, it does really well. And it gets you your structure 3D model for weight and CG real fast. That's what it does. You have, optionally, a 2D GA drawing. You must have a 3D hull surface. And Express Marine gets you from that to a 3D structure model in quote unquote no time for the purpose of weight and CG. If you remember from this morning, I, we, our company is basically working within the weight engineering of shipbuilding. Now, we sacrifice something on the altar of speed, um, mainly details uh, like smaller brackets, things like that. We don't care how the stiffener ends towards the shell and, and things like that. So it doesn't give you any, it's, this is not detail engineering. This is uh, getting you the weight of the structure, add 10% for missing part, and CG, that's pretty accurate. And we used to say that this is so quick, you can actually afford you know, when we go to, to, uh, to present it, uh, everyone is focused on having as few models as possible, obviously. But we, we say that this is so fast that you can afford to just build it, get the structure weight, CG, and then sort of throw away the model, because it's that quick. But then again, why? Um, if you've already done this work, it's very natural to, 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 to see how can we reuse it. Because although it's a rough model, a lot of work has been put into it, and there's a lot of potential for reusing it. So we are in an NSRP project for this, together with Ship Constructor, VT Holt Marine, and Austal in the US. <coughs> Started in June. This year will end in June next year. And the goal is to export the Express Marine model to Ship Constructor in such a way that the model appears in Ship Constructor as if it was um, built from scratch in Ship Constructor. And we're using the Genesis API framework in Ship Constructor to program the export. And it is basically finished, most of the programming. And we're currently doing in-house testing. And for the user, it's going to be pretty easy to use. Basically, you go into your Express Marine model, put in the server name of the ship constructor, the SQL server of ship constructor, here, the project name, you want to give it uh, units and username and password for logging on to the ship constructor. And then hit the export button. And that will bring you the Express Marine model into ship constructor. It will create the planner groups, um, transfer over the metadata, like material, thickness, uh, UDAs is user-defined attributes like 
Swedish groups. So the objects you find in Express Marine, you will now find in Ship Constructor, um, like you would find them if they were uh, built here from the start. So again, to summarize, start an Express Marine, build up your objects, export it into Ship Constructor. Next month, we will release a beta version to the project team members of the NSRP project. And then feedback, testing, enhancement will go on. And we expect to release the final version of this export uh, winter, spring 2020. That's a mistake. It's not 2019. Thank you.